Hey everybody, it's Jody. I'm back with another unboxing today. This was an instrument I was really curious about. I've heard a lot about and I um, thought I'd give it a try. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Um, I already broke the seal because people don't like to see me wielding a sharp knife. I understand that. So I broke the seal. That's all I've done so far. Let's um, see what's inside. Uh, this came from Amazon. Oh, I thought this mile was there. There we go. Came from Amazon. Um, and I will post a link in the description. This is not a review, just an unboxing. The review will be coming. All right, here we go. I'm a little concerned already because this is supposed to be a, be a bundle and I hope everything else that's supposed to be in here is in this box. But here we go, here's the box. It's a K-Mize banjo uke, or banjo lele. Um, and I am gonna have to use the knife. Ah. All right, here we go. I really hope all the extra goodies are in this box. I saw on some of the reviews on Amazon that people were getting them without all the extras, which is just not right. Oh, okay. They're in here. All right, here we go. So it comes in this nice nifty case. Um, let's put this down here for a moment. Nice nifty case, um, two straps, which is a must in my opinion for a gig bag. Puny little pocket, but still, you could probably squeeze a tuner in there. Maybe a credit card or something. Um, little handle here. Um, so that's the case open it up. Da 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 da. Here we go. Bandolele. We're going to open it up. Um, I've reviewed, ooh, I've reviewed one other, um, K Mice on this channel and I ended up giving that one away. This one may be given away too, because as you can see, I already have a banjo lele, and that's partly why I got this one. I wanna compare them. So that's gonna be coming up also. Um, here we go, here is our banjo lele. Um, banjo leles come, they have a floating bridge, um, and you have to install it yourself, which is not hard. You just have to loosen the strings and find the right spot for it. But this package, this bundle came with the ruler that shows you exactly where the bridge is gonna go. They see, see that plastic, clear plastic? That is a ruler. It comes out, but that is to show you exactly where the banjolele goes. So that's a really nice feature. When I got that one, I had to measure it. I had to first look up how to find out where it goes, and then I had to measure it and hope I got it right. So this one takes the guesswork out of it for you. Um, it's really pretty. Uh, nice and solid instrument. It's got a strap button here. Interesting. Um, it comes with the strap. I will show you that in a moment. Um, yeah, it's the K Mice logo is just like a foil sticker, um, which you could easily remove. <laughs> and I may. Um, it's not that pretty. It's got two quality control pass stickers on the back. So we will be putting that to the test in the review and seeing how well the quality control is on this ukulele. But again, this is not a review, just an unboxing. So we've got the ukulele and some extras here. Here we go. So let's take a look at our extras. This is a tool um, for tuning. You can tighten up the drum head and I think you can do something on the inside too. That'll come in the review. Comes with extra strings that are unlabeled. They said they were Italian strings like um, Aquila. Already looking at them, I can tell they're not Aquila strings, but um, extra strings. We have, ooh, we've got um, two straps, I mean two picks, which are really pretty. Um, I don't use picks for a ukulele. But I would maybe consider it for banjo lele. Comes with a tuner. Let's 
take a look at that. Yep, it's got the battery in there. We got a tuner. Jojo is what it says. You can never have enough tuners. I tell you, you can never have enough tuners. Um, I'm always losing them. This I thought was really cool. It comes with its own little pickup. You can stick on um, or on any uke. And so that'll be coming in the review. I find that interesting because I, you could, or banjoleles are really loud to begin with. That's why they were invented um, back in the 20s when people wanted to perform um, and their, ban their ukuleles are so quiet. And then this one has such a loud drum head. Um, it, it, they're very loud. So amplification's not necessary in a lot of situations. In fact, when I bring my banjolele to a group, um, it's overpowering a lot of times in a jam session. So I only bring it if I know there's gonna be a lot of instruments. Um, but anyway, it comes with a little pickup. So that's gonna be fun to experiment with. Comes with a strap. I was excited about this. Here's the strap. It's a nice strap. It's got little pockets right there where you can put your picks and store your picks right there in the pocket. Oh, and I misspoke. They gave me three picks, not two. So right there, that's kind of cool. And then it's very versatile on the end here. So there's a little slit if you just want to put that on the strap button. Or they give you two of these. And you can slide it in, snap that here, and then now you have a little thing that you can attach to one of these. Um, you could also use this to attach it up here. Like so, actually the other side's bigger, so you would use this one. Let's see here. You could attach it like so. I've never really been a fan of um, attaching straps up here, but some people like it and prefer it. So you could also attach it here. So it's a very versatile strap. Um, pr pretty nice material. It feels like it's going to be comfortable. Um, nice, nice strap. I like it. I, I don't love the design, but some people will. Um, so there we go. So we've got a strap. We've got two of these little doodads. We have a tuner with a battery. We've got an extra set of unbranded strings. We've got the little pickup. We've got the little tuning device. We've got the case and the banjo lately. So very cool. Uh, I believe it was $109 for all of it. I hope that's right. I'll put up uh, on the screen if I'm wrong. You can also buy just the banjo lele um, for cheaper, I think $99. Again, I'll put that up in the, on the um, screen. So let's go ahead and um, install this bridge, okay? Um, the reason why, there's two reasons why the bridge is a, a floating bridge. The reason why it comes like this, not installed, is so the drum head does not get damaged in shipping. Um, and I just recently learned the reason why it's a floating bridge, it has to do with how we get the twang sound out of the banjolele. With the way it vibrates and the way this vibrates, um, basically the bridge vibrates a little bit. And we get this nice twangy sound that sounds like a banjo, which is the coolest thing ever. So we're gonna see how easy it is to install this bridge. We need to loosen the strings quite a bit. They're tightened all the way. Um, and I'm gonna fast forward this part because this will be boring. Okay. So I've loosened the strings enough, I believe, to fit this bridge in there. And looking at it, I don't think there's like a front and a back. It looks the same on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it in sideways and then pop it up. Slide it in. There are little grooves in the bridge where the strings are gonna go. Pop it up, there we go, and then I'm gonna, there we go. And now I'm going to use my 
bridge position indicator, it says bridge installation position. So I've got it right here. You see that? I made sure that it goes all the way up to the nut and then I position the bridge right there. Now, what I'm probably going to do is take a little pencil and draw a, make a little mark at the bottom here because I don't know if I will save this. And that way, if I ever, if the bridge ever moves, um, I will know where it's supposed to go because I'll have a little pencil mark on there to indicate where it goes. There we go. There's our banjolele. Let's tune it up. We're going to test the tuner. Okay, so we're going to stick our little battery in there. Put it back on. Okay, looks like it works like a standard tuner. Okay, yeah, so it has a chromatic tuner, which is what I always use. Um, and then it's got lots of other settings. G, which I assume is guitar. B, maybe bass. V, violin. U, C. And U, D. So those are two ukulele settings. I'm not sure why there's two. Maybe you in the C tuning and you in the D tuning. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to leave it on chromatic, which is the little C at the bottom right there. Okay. Let me clip it on to the headstock, and we're going to tune it up. Again, I'll fast forward this part because it's boring. We got it tuned up. Let's take a listen. Nice and loud. It's got that twangy banjo sound. If you're unfamiliar with banjo leles, they're tuned just like a ukulele. So it's G, C, E, A. And so if you know how to play a ukulele, you know how to play a banjo lele as far as your left hand goes. So that would be our G chord. C chord. That's the tuner vibrating. Yeah, because I don't hear it anymore. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. Um, we're gonna a review's coming. Okay, I'm gonna play this for a while, and I'm gonna review it, and then I'm going to compare it to my Oscar Schmidt banjolele right there. That's about twice as expensive, and we will see how this one holds up to that one. I can already tell some differences. Um, there have been some theories floating around that they're the same ukulele made in the same factory, um, which I thought may, might be true based off the pictures on the internet, but seeing them, um, they're not. They're not made in the same factory. They're not the same ukulele or banjo lele. So I'm going to be doing an extensive comparison of those two. But yeah, um, initial impressions, I'm impressed. I like it. It's a pretty good price for a pretty um, substantial instrument. It's very pretty and fun. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this, folks. So, yeah. And then I'll probably be giving this away. I don't need two banjo -lelis. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe so you can see this review and comparison and giveaway. Have a great day, guys. Don't forget to play your uke today. Bye-bye.